So tonight, a desperate call from the community to put an end to gun violence in Buffalo. In the span of 12 hours yesterday, five people were injured in two separate shootings. Four of the victims are teenagers. Those on the front line say it appears a gang mentality is behind this spike in crime in the Queen City. According to the FBI, there are roughly 700 active gang members here in Buffalo. Now one community leader has new ideas to tackle the violence. Here's 7 Eyewitness News reporter Ed Riley. It's important to note that we don't have a national gang presence here in the city of Buffalo. What we find is that we have more neighborhood street gangs. There have been 15 homicides in Buffalo this year, and over the last couple of days, there has been a surge in gun violence, with two people killed over the weekend and five people shot yesterday. Buffalo police say they are very confident that the recent shootings are gang-related. So it's one-on-one -on -one retaliation. It's not an organized retaliation or attack from one gang to another gang. The FBI Safe Streets Task Force, working with Buffalo Police, have now identified 37 gangs with 700 members in Buffalo. So we haven't seen a significant rise or decrease in, in either of those numbers. Common Council President Darius Pridgen sees the problem as a lawmaker and a member of clergy. This weekend, his true Bethel Baptist Church will hold funerals for two of the recent homicide victims. The just amount of illegal weapons right now that are on the street um, is unprecedented. The council president believes it's time for new ideas, including getting more help from the state and federal government and increasing the Buffalo Police budget. To uh, hire and train the detectives that are necessary and whatever special units we need. Bridgen also wants a website with updated information on current shooting investigations so people do not forget. After the funeral and after the emotion is down, mouths close. And there is an urgency in dealing with this problem because city officials fear the violence could get even worse as the weather continues to get warmer. In Buffalo, Ed Riley 7 Eyewitness News. Ed, thank you very much.